Hi, welcome to episode 38 of Thought Bubbles, sparkling insights into community engagement, coming to you as always from my office in McLaren Vale, which is about 45 minutes south of Adelaide in South Australia. Council rates, that's what I want to talk about today. Now, council rates has been on my mind since last week, since there was a really quite a cool campaign undertaken on Twitter um, by a lot of local government organisations, um, like hashtag your rates at work day. Or something. Anyway, it happened last week, I think it was the 1st of August, coincided, I'm assuming, with rates notices being sent out to the community. Um, it was a very positive space, apart from the odd tweet with from disgruntled people being sarcastic, and maybe I might have been one of them. Um, and I'm always doing it tongue-in-cheek, just to stir the pot. Um, but it's actually provided since then quite a lot of thinking and quite a lot of dialogue in my own circles around our rates. And I know as a community engagement specialist that councils often struggle with getting people involved in conversations about rates. When it's their annual budgeting or strategic planning sessions, they get the same people coming along, the same squeaky wheels, the same voices, possibly the vocal minority of the community. And don't feel that they're getting a really decent engagement with the community over the discussion of rates. And then, of course, what happens is the rates notice go out with their new price increase and of course the community is suddenly saying what what is this about me being one of them now often the question that gets asked in, in relation to rates is one about the broad council planning and this is where your money goes and you talk to any council worker or elected member or mayor and they're going to be quite defensive about the decisions that they've made obviously they're going to say, well, actually compare it to the rest of your taxes, you'll find that council rates are actually quite, you know, they, they're, they're fairly uh, fair. And perhaps they are, and perhaps us as the broader population don't really understand what it takes to run a council and all of the different things that need to have money spent on. Now, the one thing I really want to get to on this thought bubbles is that in my mind, I've sort of seen a bit of a switch. If, if I were working with a council now and we were doing some engagement on rates, my question to the community would be, not anything about what price do you think it should be, would you pay this, would you not pay this, because I'm always going to say no, I want it cheaper. The question from my perspective is what would you feel gives you value for your rates that you're paying each month, and or each quarter? Now for me, my rates are, I don't know, about 600 a quarter, I think, which is quite a big amount of money to just be paying out when you can't really see directly your rates at work but actually you can as a community member it's everywhere but you don't necessarily put two and two together for me asking me the question of what would you what would give you a sense of good value for your rates it straight away puts some key things to the top of my my priority list would be getting my bins collected all of my bins weekly i suppose particularly the recycling and getting the potholes in all the local roads fixed those would be my two massive ones. I'll do the third. No, I don't know. Those are my two top ones. Now, of course, I know that councils spend so much time, energy, resources and money on all sorts of different things other than just roads, rates and rubbish. But as a resident, those are the things that come to mind. And I'd be curious to put that to the broader community as to, you know, we acknowledge your rates are a substantial part of your household expenditure what would make you feel that you've got good value out of them? I think that would just be a great question. So any councils that have asked that question, I'd love to hear from you to know if you've had more positive um, engagement with your community and more useful engagement in asking that question um, or any other ways of, of engaging community over rates that you've used. Um, yeah, there needs to be a real, a real shift, I think, in this whole engagement over rates and we need to really work on it and get it right because it's a huge one. Until next time, see ya.